I went from this guy who didn't know shit to a guy that can genuinely approach women in the daytime. So you want to learn how to get better with girls. <laughs> I understand. I've been there. How to get better with women. <laughs> First of all, congrats for humbling yourself. Seriously. It actually takes true humility to like sit down with yourself and be like, all right, I'm not where I want to be in this area of my life. And this is a delicate one, right? So let me actually like research it to try to get better. So props to you for that genuinely. Why should you listen to me? I went from looking like this to looking like this. I used to get no girls. I had zero luck with girls because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I didn't get much action at all in high school. I got ghosted constantly by girls that I was talking to. That's where I was five years ago. I went from this guy who didn't know shit to a guy that can genuinely approach women in the daytime, broad daylight, people around in public at a bus stop in a, in a target. I can just pull the trigger. This video is not going to be like the actual tangible techniques that I've used, but more so like the high level mindset. We'll start there. The first step to moving forward in your journey with girls, understand that dealing with girls is a skill. Now, keep in mind, it's a hard skill to develop, but the point here is that it can be developed it can be improved. You shouldn't expect to be good right now, right? Like think about it. If you've never picked up a basketball in your entire life, then the first time you pick it up and shoot it, you should not expect it to go in. You haven't put any reps in yet. There's no such thing as a natural when it comes to women. Nobody's a natural. It might look like that through our eyes, right? Remember, we're in the same boat. I was terrible with women. So I understand what it's what it feels like. I, I've lived in that reality and I was always envious of the guys that were in middle school already able to raise the girls up. I was too scared to even talk to them, right? Like I had I had crushes all throughout middle school, high school that I would I would have loved to be able to talk to, but I just didn't know how to. I'm saying all this to humanize myself, right? Like I've been in your shoes as a person on the other side of the screen researching this shit. So I understand what it's like. There is no such thing as a natural. They weren't born like this, right? They just had different circumstances than you did growing up, which led them to develop the skill of de dealing with women faster and more effectively than you have up until this point. That's, that's it. Maybe even like if you were to see me approach a girl in broad daylight, right? Let's say you were just a bystander, you're just an NPC. And let's say you're standing here in the target aisle shopping and you hear that. And you might be thinking in your head like, holy shit, how does this guy, this guy must be a natural. Like, I wish I could do what he could do. Bullshit. I'm not a natural. This was developed. The confidence was chiseled. It was countless times getting ghosted, trying to figure out why I got ghosted, researching how to not get ghosted. It was getting rejected. It's a vibe. It's an energy that you give off. But not to say that you need to be born with the energy or you just need to have the energy or the vibe. The vibe can be cult. The vibe can be curated. The energy is curated. I started with bitch energy. <laughs> All this to say, there's no such thing as a natural. Okay. Number two for how I improve with girls. I reframed all of the excuses that I was feeding myself as to why I couldn't improve. I had all these excuses going on in my head as to not just why I wasn't good with girls, but why I couldn't get better with girls. It wasn't that I didn't want to improve. I desperately wanted to improve, but it was kind of easier to tell myself that I couldn't because it was just like I gave myself, I let myself off the hook pretty much. So some of the reasons that I used to use, right? Like, oh, I can't improve because I'm not tall enough. I'm 5'9". I'm not tall. And I used to use that as my excuse. Oh man, if I was, God, if I could have just been born with a few more, maybe six foot, even I'll take 5'11". Maybe if I was 6'2", I'd be crushing it. Another excuse I used to have was I'm too skinny. All right, I grew up skinny. I played football. I was 130. I'm 5'9", 130. I'm a skinny fuck. Right now, I'm 5'9", 140. <laughs> Still a pretty skinny fuck. And I used to think, okay, well, I'll be better with girls once I'm more muscular, right? I just need to build a little more muscle. The actual point here, right? This is what I should have started with. Any excuse will do. It doesn't matter what the excuse is. It's okay to have these excuses like, this is pretty normal, right? Because we want to self-soothe. We want to self-soothe. We want to, we don't, it's hard to admit to ourselves and especially to others that we're inadequate, that we're not enough in anything. But, but when it comes to something as delicate as dealing with the opposite sex, it's extra sensitive. It's way easier to say, she didn't reject me. She just doesn't like me because I'm not 6'2", like fuck girls. Clearly you see from, from the clips that I put up, I'm able to do numbers as a 5'9 guy. That was my biggest excuse and now it's like my motivation. The biggest reframe here, instead of saying this is why I can't, you just say this is why I should because now I can look back and say I was able to do that despite being 5'9". 
And you might be 5'8 listening to this thing and this guy's a fucking asshole. But any excuse will do. That's the point. Do it anyways. Because you'll be an example to everybody that uses your excuse. They, it, it, it eliminates it, right? I've eliminated the 5'9 excuse. Okay, number three. The number three high-level mindset of how I got better with girls is... I humbled myself. I admitted that I wasn't where I wanted to be when it came to, to women and I researched it. <laughs> Pretty much what you're doing. I, I learned from others. Instead of pretending and putting up a wall and putting up an ego, which is a lot easier to do and is the, that's the default. That's what I used to do. Humble yourself, learn from others. So just as a recap, number one, dealing with girls is a skill. It's a skill that can be built, that can be developed and Give yourself grace for not being good yet because you shouldn't be good when you first start a skill. It's like by, by definition. Number two, I reframed my excuses as to why I could not improve my skills because there were plenty. The third thing is I humbled myself. I admitted to myself first that I sucked with women. Let me just shut up. Let me find people who are closer to where I want to be than I am. And let me just learn from them. Those are the three steps. We're going to go over way more shit and way more in depth uh, in this channel and other videos. So if you want to follow along, I'm going to be going over my journey over the past five years, the journey I'm still on as far as improving myself holistically, socially, and with women. If you want to follow along that journey, then feel free to subscribe. I hope you were able to pull value from this.